As the United States' political center, Washington, D.C. is home to the country's most federal government facilities, with the exception of the Department of Defense, or the Pentagon. Why? When the established architect Pierre Charles L'Enfant designed the capital in the 1970s, the Frenchman didn't expect that the city would host as many inhabitants as it does today. The U.S. War Department, or DOD, was originally headquartered in the capital. Yet as the ranks of the War Department continued to swell, they began to branch out across the city, being housed in 17 different buildings. In the 1930s, a large complex was constructed in the capital's Foggy Bottom neighborhood to house the War Department. But before it was completed, the Army determined it to be too small for its needs. This building is now home to the U.S. State Department. Solving the space problem became more urgent as the country prepared to join World War II. Where could they build a structure to accommodate 40,000 employees and 10,000 cars? Finally, they chose an area in Arlington, Virginia, across the Potomac River from the capital. Today, the Pentagon ranks among the largest office buildings in the world. Moreover, its 23,000 employees also avoid the daily traffic jams in the capital.